Welcome to the Spell of Grace. I am Pastor Shogun Baje. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. Today we're looking at the surpassing dimension of God's power. The surpassing dimension of God's power. Amen. You know, God's power is beyond what the natural mind can wrap itself around. The power of God surpasses the power of man. It surpasses mental power. It surpasses military power. It surpasses political power. The power of God surpasses sensual power. It surpasses demonic power. The power of God is almighty. The power of God is supreme power. And that dimension is beyond this world. Glory to God. And that is the power of God available to us in Christ Jesus. This is amazing. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 tells us very clearly. It says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to his power that is at work within us. Is it any uh, surprising or is it a wonder to think that the power of God, which is the all surpassing, all supreme, all mighty power, of God can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, it shouldn't surprise us because this power is beyond what the mind can fathom. The power of God is awesome. Is it anything difficult and anything surprising that God can raise the dead or should raise the dead? It's not. It's not. The power of God is awesome. Is awesome. And listen, beloved. I don't know what you're asking God. Understand that God is able and is willing to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think. You see, this should be the mindset you wear when you go to prayer. You must have that mindset that God answers prayers beyond what you can ever imagine. God mesmerizes you and your expectations when you come to him in faith because his power is above what your mind can fathom. His power is beyond what the natural accommodation or natural allowance can take. Why? Because the power of God is surpassing, is excellent. Glory to God. And is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. You see, there's no distance in the realm of the Spirit. As I speak to you right now, the power of God is present with you and the power of God is touching you right now and causing a change in your situation. I call your needs met. I call your body healed. I call that job yours. I call that door open for you and you move to the next level by the power of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this very month, God does things beyond what your mind can fathom in the name of Jesus Christ. He mesmerizes your imagination. He beats your imagination. He can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or imagine. God's power is beyond your imagination. I don't know how vast your imagination is. I don't know how much you know you can think at a time. I don't know how rich your imagination is, but I know that God's power is beyond your imagination. Whatever you can conceive in your heart, God can do much more than that. Exceedingly, abundantly above that which you ask or think. Beloved, begin to celebrate the awesome power of God today. The same power that quickened an old man at 100 years and quickened his body and opened the womb of Sarah when she had you know, gone past menopause, that same power is available today. And that power is at work right now in your environment, in your life, in your body, in your family, in your ministry, in your career. That power is working right now. It is the surpassing dimension of God's power. Receive that power right now and the operations of that power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And interestingly, as we close, and this is the power that is at work in those of us who believe. Glory to God. And that's the power of God working in us. Wonderful power. Hallelujah. Thank God for the power of God at work in us. Amen. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.